East Hampton is also known as Belltown. In the 1800s, there were 30 bell makers in town. Earlier this year, Bevan Manufacturing, the last one, was wiped out by a big fire. But tonight, as Chief Capital Correspondent Mark Davis reports, the bells are ringing again. Four months ago, a bolt of lightning sparked the fire that destroyed the 200-year-old Bevan Brothers Manufacturing Company, the only company left in the nation that makes only bells. Now, in a building about a quarter mile from the ruins of the historic plant, bell manufacturing is underway again. 20,000 of these Salvation Army bells are on their way across North America. Thousands of these bells used in nursing homes are on their way out. Even these cowbells, still used by farmers and people at sporting events, are on their way out from East Hampton, Belltown, USA. The original die for casting the bells, some 100 years old, were retrieved from the ruins by the only tool and die maker still around. I made a few tests on some of the uh, dies, and they were still hard, so I said, yes, Matt, we can, we can rebuild them. Fourteen of the company's 27 employees have been rehired so orders can keep being filled. It's critical that we rebuild the business, and that is get back to producing, get back to delivering things to our customers, maintaining that communication so that we have a reason to rebuild a building down the road. Muradov Abidovic escaped the war in Bosnia and started at the Bell Factory 12 years ago. He never expected to be back to work so soon. I think that's be a long, long time for starting again, but we are back very fast. Another local company recreated a Bevan Yacht Bell to help celebrate today, marking the return of the bells in Belltown, USA. In East Hampton, Mark Davis, News 8.